I respect your opinion and hopefully you respect mine. Welcome to Opinion Time. Hey guys, what's going on? It's your bro Lump here coming at you guys today with my brand new series and it's called Opinion Time and basically what I'm going to be doing is talking about my opinion on stuff while I play some video games live. So I'm going to be doing quite a few things and I'll probably do pretty bad but I don't really care because I have been watching a lot of commentaries and I really like live commentaries a lot better. And it's kind of a little bit more interactive because I'm actually experiencing the same thing you guys are and we're having a discussion about something. So today I'm going to be talking about my opinion on the 29 gross sounding English words that everyone hates. It's an article that I found from about two years ago so hopefully no one else has done anything like this. But basically it's about 29, sound, 29 words that sound terrible that a lot of people hate. So obviously you guys can probably guess the biggest most hated word that is moist now I actually don't have a problem with the word moist you know you really shouldn't describe someone's private parts the same way you describe your cake but hey whatever so anyways before we start talking about any of the other words we're gonna launch up some crucible here some crucible and we're playing control and uh, I'll show you guys my loadout really quick using the messenger matador radagast and uh, yeah, so let's get into this. So, uh, the second word is blog. I actually don't have a problem with the word blog. Um, kind of makes me think of the word frog. Maybe that's why people don't like it if they don't like frogs. Like, if you don't like frogs, that's kind of weird, but hey, frogs are pretty cool. I like frogs, and I like turtles, and I don't like snakes, and I don't like spiders. But yeah, frogs are pretty cool. I used to catch frogs back in the day, so, um, yeah, here, the third word I have an idea what it is. It's called Lugabrilicious. Lugabricious. It'll be on the screen. Lugabricious. It makes me think of slugs, lugs, I don't know. Maybe if you don't like slugs or brushes things or brushes, I don't even know. So we're going to skip that word. Uh, the fourth word is yolk. I don't know. You guys will have to tell me if you hate the word yolk, why you hate the word yolk. Because I like the word yolk. When I think of the word yolk, I think of eggs and I think of bacon and when I think of bacon it makes me happy and uh, all four of us have the same ship there we go need some diversity here um this is not good thank god they're coming out with an expansion for this game so the fifth word on the list is gurgle now gurgle makes me think of like whenever you put like salt water and you go like like that sort of stuff so I have a positive connotation because I tend to get sick pretty often because my immune system, yeah, my immune system is like a JV football team going against the Patriots or something. And I hate the Patriots, so um, no offense to any Patriots fans. I'm going to get a lot of hate for that. So anyways, the word gurgle. If you've ever been sick, you may or may not have gotten a sore throat. And when you get a sore throat, something that most people commonly do, is they gurgle salt water. And when you gurgle warm salt water when you have a sore throat, it feels quite nice. So I do not have a negative opinion to the word gurgle, and I'm sorry if you do because I've said it about half a dozen times, maybe even more. So the next word, the next word's a good word, and it's spelled weird, and at first I was like, what is this word? I have no idea. I haven't even gotten a kill yet this game. So um, hang on, let me do this really quick. Let me kill this guy. Oh, he's run away. I got him. Don't even worry about it. All right. So uh, the next word is gurgle. Damn it. And nope, the next word is not gurgle. The next word is... This is my first live commentary in about uh, six years because that's the last time I uploaded an actual video. The next word is phlegm. I hate the word phlegm. I don't know why. It makes me think of nasty stuff. Like, you ever been driving down the road and you just have to, like... You just have to... Like, spit up some phlegm like it's just the grossest thing in the world Ugh. all right let's move on to the next one. Oh, the next one's even worse the next word is fetus now there's nothing wrong with little babies babies are cute and stuff and wow people hate shotguns um babies are cool no hate against babies the word fetus makes me think of like an evil dead baby. If you've ever played The Witcher, it makes me think of that dead baby that like flies around and follows you. Yeah, no thanks. I'm not feeling the fetuses, especially because with fetus, it relates to, it kind of has a negative connotation of a dead baby. 
like a baby that was never born. So, yeah, I'm not a big fan of that word. The next word is curd. I don't know what the hell a curd is. We're gonna move on to the next word, which is smear. And smear is a very weird word. I don't hate it, but I don't, I'm not like, oh yeah, smear, that's a good word. Smear, when I hear the word smear, it makes me think of smearing everywhere and it's kind of gross no one wants to think about smearing oh my gosh come over here what the heck the next word is hang on hang on hang on hang on hang on hang on we'll get to the next word in just a second after i kill this guy boom okay the next word is squirt i don't like that word either and the word squirt gives me the feeling of like when you're like nine years old and like you finally are out of diapers and pull-ups and stuff and you're like heading over to your buddy's house or something or you're like having a little sleepover and you're too scared to ask where the bathroom is so you just uh decide to do the number two so uh, instead of asking where the bathroom is you just give off a little squirt and then you're good to go so that's what that word makes me think of so i'm not a big fan of that word uh, number 10 is an awful word the word is chunky, and uh, the word chunky makes me think of throw up. If you've never seen throw up, or you've never thrown up, chunky throw up is the grossest in the world. We're done talking about chunky stuff. Um, chunky people, no problems with chunky people, just problems with chunky throw up, that's about it. Next word, orifice. I don't know what the f that is, so we're gonna skip. The next word I don't like either, and that's probably a lot of words on here that I don't like because it's 29 most hated words. So it kind of makes sense if I don't like one of the words on the one of the words on the list. So the next word is maggot. If you don't know what a maggot is? It's a gross little creature that crawls around under wood or crawls around in dead body. Had to take a break real quick. All right, the next word is vicious. And I actually like the word vicious. My family has a four-pound dog that's actually obese. It actually weighs like 14 pounds, but it's a very small dog and I always make fun of her and tell her that she's vicious. So when I hear the word vicious, it makes me think of my little puppy. So I don't hate that word. Uh, the next word is queasy. Uh, maybe be associated with having to f or something, I don't know, having to throw up. The next word is bulbous. No idea what it means, but it makes me think of Bulbasaur and Bulbasaur freaking sucks. So no one likes Bulbasaur because why would you have Bulbasaur when you can have Charizard or holy crap there's a lot of people in there nova bomb Yeet. yeah why would you want bulbasaur like a freaking bulb of a plant when you can have a dragon or a turtle with two cannons on its back so yeah that's probably why people don't like that word next word we're skipping oh crap next word we're gonna skip a uh, secret or whatever secret whatever crap oozing out of your body yeah that word's gross munch i don't have a problem with munch munch makes me think of food unless the only thing you eat is then you probably like food munch is probably a good word unless when you hear the word munch it makes you think about munching which might not be a good yeah i'm cutting that out the next word is panties it can go both ways if your girl tells you says something about her panties then uh that's probably a good thing but if if your granny says something about her panties then yeah that's kind of gross yeah the last word i'm going to do on the list is clogged now what i'd like to say about the word clogged is that the word clogged makes me think of crocs if you do not know what crocs are i will have a picture of them on the screen if you wear crocs because crocs are what are those? You know, or like a toilet being clogged because it's filled with <laughs> the, the other eight words. Scroll, we're out of time. I'll see you guys in next week's episode. If you guys would like to leave comments on suggestions of what I should talk about next on Opinion Time, and feel free to share your opinions down below. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace. <laughs> Is that amazing? <laughs>